I saw this image, this allegation pop up on another platform, and the first thing that came to my mind was, and do what with it? Time Traveler claims hostile aliens are coming to, quote-unquote, take back Earth. I guess the next logical question would be, and then do what with it? The most advanced peoples on the planet have forgotten literally how to reproduce. They won't have to fire a shot. They'll just have to sit back and watch. And then when we eventually die out and all that's left are third world folks, then they can come in and take over. But they're not going to have to work very hard. But I still have that question all the time about why do you focus on Antarctica so much? Well, I think it makes perfect sense that this is where the aliens, if they were coming from somewhere else, I don't believe this, if they were coming from somewhere else, they would start here so that they could have a clean template to operate from without any other interference. And that would make logical sense if we were going anywhere with that type of intent. But real quick, those of you who are interested in thinking and not feeling and being able to see beyond what even alternative media is showing you, join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. Now, I'll warn you, we take the gloves off over there. We can, partnering with Vimeo and Patreon, a couple of speed bumps to keep the sensors away. And we have been able to talk about some things, show some images that have bothered some people. But it's the truth, coming from a Gen X perspective. You see, Gen Z and the millennials, I have some information today that's bad news for you guys because you have neglected and forgotten how to reproduce. That's why we have the invasion at the southern border. You're going to die out long after I'm gone, long after the boomers and us Gen X folks, long after we're gone. You haven't done enough reproducing, meaning men and women getting together, having babies, to even maintain population. It's collapsing. And they're predicting in the next six years, 500,000 less school kids across the country in the next six years. I want you to think about that. Now, over there at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, one US dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable first 90 days. No questions asked. There is a $5 level over there. Um, there's a handful of videos for those folks who have stepped up. I wasn't going to even start a $5 level, but there were so many saying, hey, we'd like to give you a little more. We'd like you to focus more over here so that we can talk about things we used to be able to talk about way back in the 80s and 90s when Gen Xers were young. There are some incredible images of, images of Antarctica that show things that if they were shown anywhere else, people would say that's worthy. That is definitely worthy of um, further investigation. We've shown hundreds of images like this. And I'd like to show a couple real quick examples before we get to the meat of today's video here on YouTube. You see, everybody is very familiar through Ancient Aliens and other shows about this place called Machu Picchu in South America. It's way up in the mountains, and it shows all of these incredible buildings and um, hand of ancient man creating these elaborate structures. This is 2020. This is what it looks like, looked like in 2020. Do you want to know what it looked like in 1919? That's what it looked like in 1919. Now, I want everyone to, just for a moment, think in your mind's eye. Use your imagination. Imagine there was the internet back in 1911. Imagine there was a, some form of Google Earth Pro staring down at Machu Picchu through satellites at that time. And somebody said, hey, you know, you see this area here on the top of this mountain? You see where there's the, the kind of there's some divots in between the trees? That's evidence of a lost civilization. Now, back then, people were more open-minded. A lot more people would have said, well, that could very well be. We should probably go look at that. But you see here now in 2024, because of the troll population, you would have been laughed off the internet for saying this random stand of trees and a couple of breaks in the trees was evidence of something like this. Even though this was the truth. Thank goodness back in 1911, we had people out there that were a little bit more open-minded. Now, this is an area, I believe it's in England, That it, what it looks like now. It's just a ring of stones, and there's kind of a wall, and there's some areas where you can see there used to be, but this is what it was. This is what it used to be. Massive fort with tons of uh, places for people to reside and trade to go on. 
And that's all that's left now. And that's in an area with no trees. So I guess it's the idea of looking one step below, looking just beneath the surface. And that's what's going on with this, what people call the invasion at the border. I think people should start calling it the rescue at the border. Florida monkey, how can you say they're coming here to rescue us? Folks, if they weren't coming here, this country, this area between California and Virginia and North Minnesota, Maine, Florida, would be vacuously empty in the next 50 to 100 years. Government would easily collapse for lack of tax revenue. You see, how many of you remember, how many of you remember this argument, this argument between um, the folks on the left, folks on the right, Joe Biden calling them illegals and everybody losing their mind. They're undocumented. You see, translate, undocumented for them means untaxed. They need those folks coming here to do the jobs we won't do. Millennials and, and look, this is, this is fortune. Millennials and Gen Z won't have enough kids to sustain America's population. And it's up to immigrants to make up the baby shortfall. You see, people have been so brainwashed into, oh, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that thing that causes babies. That's just, that's too uncomfortable. It's, it's not a, a topic for polite conversation. Even Thomas Sowell, one of the greatest conservative minds out there, said stopping illegal immigration would mean that wages would have to rise to a level where Americans, what's left of us, would want the jobs currently taken by same said, quote unquote, undocumented illegal aliens, whatever you want to call them. And those jobs, part of those jobs, the, um, and you would, boy, this is a very socialist thing to say, but one of the, um, unwritten rules of living in a society is reproducing. It's a rule. I mean, they don't force it, but people talk about what do immigrants cost state and local governments? It's the other argument that's the opposite. What would be the cost of not having the people? You see, they they throw out images like this about uh, grocery prices up 21%, eating out up 21%, um, all natural gas, all these things are up in cost. Why? Where's the money going? Why are things costing more versus wages? Because wages have to stay down. The, the, higher, the higher the wages go, the more the cost comes from. See, we don't have enough people to keep the velocity of the money going. That's, and a lot of people are like, oh, that's not true. It's absolutely true. It is absolutely true that Biden's driving up fuel prices. Why do you think fuel prices are going up? For them to make the same return off of the same gallon of whatever, diesel or gasoline or whatever, they've got to charge more to make up for all of this. Now, let me ask you a question. And this is one of those thought-based questions we usually deal with over at Patreon. But I'm going to ask this question. I've used this image before about uh, this made the rounds over on another video platform that shall remain nameless that people are all sorts of talking about right now, wanting to ban. And somebody said, boy, the, it, you would, I don't know if you could pay me enough to do this job. It's a guy and he's down in a manhole and he's in a sewer and he's got a pressure washer down there cleaning things out. And this, and the reason I bring this up is because I used to do this job. This used to be me down in the hole with the atomizing pressure washer atomizing everything you might think of flushing down a toilet, being crawled on by cockroaches, covered in filth. It gives you a moment to think about life choices. Now, to run one of the trucks and do what this guy's doing, you have to have license to, to drive the truck. You have to have training to, to run all the different um, hydraulics and pneumatics on it. So it's not just some low-wage job you just hand out to a some ex-con just getting off a sentence that you know needs work to do. you got to have training to do this. So you'd have to ask yourself, what would you, what would you, especially I'm speaking to millennials and Gen Z here, how much would you have to make? What would they have to pay you to crawl down into a live sewer where everybody in your neighborhood flushed everything they wanted to that morning and it'd be your job to go down there and make sure it was still flowing, you know, down the little channels and ways that go through the sewer is your job. How much would they have to pay you? How much? 40 an hour? 
50 an hour. You want to know why the collapse is coming? This is why the collapse is coming. They wouldn't do it for 50 bucks an hour. They wouldn't do it for 100 bucks an hour because they can't get over it. They just can't get over what, what it would be. And guess who will? And there's a thousand other jobs just like that. And this is, the, this is what the government is not admitting to you. This is the truth they're not telling you. Is that because of a certain paradigm, a certain attitude toward reproductive activity between men and women, it has caused a mass societal shift. You see, I get all sorts of oh holy rollers that love to show up in the comment section and denigrate and point fingers and laugh about my comments regarding this platform, where mostly, mostly North American heterosexual white females, I'll say this again, you can look this up, mostly North American white heterosexual females are basically becoming their own producers for somewhat are perhaps x-rated content and earning three bucks five bucks a month per head to show the pictures see a lot of people look at this and they just uh this is horrible there's just no way it beats being homeless and it's a hell of a lot safer than being an uber or lyft driver full disclosure i have done this too and even as a full-grown man with military training big strong guy it's still a dangerous as hell job. Would never want my daughter, would never want my daughter to do this or this, but this is the reality. Here's what's coming, kids. Here's what's coming. This is the, the only place you can find images like this. And uh, the video game community does a real good job of portraying what the future black markets are going to be. See, these are going to be the future undocumented, quote-unquote, illegals. It's not going to matter what your race is. See, if you're paying taxes, if you're paying taxes, you'll be part of the system. And you'll be welcome in the system. Because they can skim off your, your labor. They can skim off what you do, and they can use it to finance the government debt. But the underground, the black markets, aren't going to be a matter of color or race or background. It's going to be people who don't want to be part of society anymore. And us Gen, Gen Xers will be long dead by the time this comes around. 25 years, 30 years, it's going to be over. Completely over. Now, here's the part, 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes going in, that I make everybody mad. You see, here's the paradigm. Last 10 years, demonized. We need to take guys like Prince Andrew and this this guy, this... uh. Uh, this Epstein, Maxwell, we need to run them out of town. We need to string them up in the square and we need to uncover all these Hollywood blah, 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 blah. And it was, it, wasn't it strange to you that it was always older, white, heterosexual males and younger, white, heterosexual females that were always the problem? It never dawned you. Why are they only picking on this one group of people that bothered them? I know right now people are like, oh, I can't believe this picture. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, it's, I'm so offended. I'm already so offended. I can't believe it. You see, I don't want to hear any of you Bible types talk about being offended by this and offended by this, but not being offended by this because of this or this. Because if you want to get down to chapter and verse, this is an abomination. This is real clear in the Bible as being the root of evil. This, while at times perhaps not convenient and perhaps not the best, is not really discussed all that much in the Bible. In fact, there were a great many men, a long list of men in the Bible that had multiple wives that were labeled close to God, after God's own heart, having found favor in the eyes of God. And if you don't believe in God, that's fine. That's your right in a liberty-driven society. But if you, if you want to know why, if you want to know why we have this many people that they're just letting in and letting in and letting in, it's because this group of people, they have remembered 
the most important thing about keeping the line going. Making babies and more babies and more babies. And people say, I'm not going to pay for it with my tax dollars. Like, we're How many trillion dollars in debt? It's not your tax dollars anymore. We're how many trillion dollars in debt? And the only hope for ever paying it off are about 100 more bridges this big. Non-stop. Coming in, getting on the tax rolls. And paying taxes. That's the real difference. The, the only reason that they talk, talk about them being undocumented. Undocumented for them doesn't mean, oh, well, they haven't passed a citizenship test in the sense that they can't tell who, who the, the ninth president of the United States was and what does uh, Section 4, Part B, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution say. That's not what they don't care about that. They need people to come in, fill jobs we won't do, and get on tax rolls and pay taxes Americans aren't paying. It's just this simple. It's about it's about heads. Because two people get together and they have a baby and that person grows up and becomes a tax, taxpayer. That's what it is. That's all it is. And this is, even Fortune is putting this out. This was January 25, 2023. This is the last year. So, if you want the truth, that's the truth. This 13th day of March, 2024, about what's really, really going on. Aliens? You know, a lot of people talk about you know, depopulation and uh, all this kind of... They're just going to sit back and let, it, let us do it to ourselves. If you're offended by it, you know what? This is if I've already offended everybody anyway. I'm going to do it again. Hold on. It's, it's fairly well known, it is fairly well known in Hollywood that Jennifer Lawrence prefers older men. In fact, there's a video of her um, fawning all over Jack Nicholson. And this was after the issue with Weinstein. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Nicholson was at least Weinstein's age, if not, if not older. Some girls just like older guys. That's just the way they are. I've never met a 19 or 20 year old girl that wouldn't have at least one time, you know, daydreamt about uh, a prince, an actual prince who lived in a castle, you know, who had that kind of power and royalty, you know, but of course, this is the offensive part, but this is all, this, everybody needs to stand up and applaud and let a tear run down their eye in, in just admiration of the stunning and brave, brave and stunning, stunning and brave. It's just brainwashing. It's brainwashing, and it's, it's horrible. So I will leave it there, 18 minutes. So the aliens ain't going to have to do any work. And if they do, whatever work they do, they will do from Antarctica. Join us if that's the kind of content you like over Patreon, because I can't get away with it here very often. One U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. God bless all of you. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.